not children in this video we will see another new concept salt hydrolysis what is this it is a phenomena involving the interaction of cations or anions or both of a salt with oppositely charged ions of water to give acidic or basic solution the phenomena involving the interaction of cations or anions or say both of a salt with oppositely charged ions of water to give acidic or basic solution falling salts undergo hydrolysis means children think is that if you dissolve a salt in water and if the resultant solution is either slightly acidic or basic you dissolve a salt in water and if the resultant solution is like either slightly acidic or basic we say that salt has undergone hydrolysis either acidic or basic not neutral mind you if it is neutral by the way if the resultant solution is absolutely neutral means ph 7 then we say the salt has not undergone hydrolysis no that salt will not undergo hydrolysis hydrolysis is the phenomena when we dissolve a salt in water and its oppositely charged ions they combine with they interact with they react with the oppositely charged ions uh, present in water and uh, they give rise to the resultant solution which is either acidic or basic in nature not neutral ph not exactly 7 either less than 7 means acidic or more than 7 basic or nearly 7 means slightly acidic slightly basic but not exactly 7 if its ph is exactly 7 then we will not say that process that phenomena phenomena that the salt has undergone hydrolysis no in that case it is neutralization so whenever a salt is dissolved in water and the ph of the resultant solution is not exactly 7 either less than 7 or more than 7 the salt is said to undergo hydrolysis i repeat ph will not be exactly 7 less than 7 more than 7 nearly 7 but not exactly 7 right so whenever a salt is dissolved in water and if the ph of the resultant solution is not exactly 7 the salt is said to undergo hydrolysis the phenomena is known as hydrolysis now following salts undergo hydrolysis one salt of a strong acid and weak base strong acid and weak base this is a very good example nh4cl because this salt is made up of the weak base nh4oh and the strong acid hcl just think of the reaction nh4oh plus hcl gives you nh4cl so this is a good example of the salt of strong acid and weak base fine children if you dissolve the salt in water then obviously uh, it will form nh4oh nhcl correct now point is which is strong obviously hcl is strong so uh, in the solution we will see the dominating character of hcl means the resultant solution will be acidic in nature the resultant solution will be acidic in nature the acidic nature will be dominating because that is strong acid hcl is strong acid in that solution what we have is nh4oh and hcl after dissolving the salt in water so naturally the acidic nature of hcl will be dominating the basic nature of nh4oh right so the resultant solution will be acidic in nature and obviously the ph will be less than 7 and children this is said to undergo cationic hydrolysis nh4 plus and cl minus here the nh4 plus ion has undergone hydrolysis so we, we say it is said to go cationic hydrolysis or we say since it has combined with the h plus the cation of water it is said to undergo cationic hydrolysis you think this way it has combined with h plus of water cation of water hence we call it 
cationic hydrolysis. Right, children? So this is how it is there. One may ask you, what will be the nature of the resultant solution of NH4Cl when dissolved in water? Certainly, you can see, uh, to this if you add water, will form NH4OH and HCl. Out of the two, we know HCl is a stronger acid. Hence, the resultant solution will be acidic in nature. That acidic nature will be dominating. So, uh, resultant solution will be acidic in nature. But obvious, the pH will be less than 7. And since acidic nature means uh, it has combined mainly, I mean, what, I mean, you can see this way, that uh, mainly it is, uh, the Cl minus ion is combining with the H plus of the uh, water and dominating in the resultant solution. So you can say, or you can say, H plus ions are dominating in the solution. Hence, we can call it, cationic hydrolysis since it is acidic in nature and the cations will H plus ions will be dominating in the solution hence you can say it has undergone cationic hydrolysis uh, they even ask you a salt like NH4Cl will undergo cationic hydrolysis anionic hydrolysis or uh, both and likewise so it is cationic hydrolysis right children you can relate this from cationic in various ways here, the H plus uh, ions are dominating in the solution. Hence, you call it cationic hydrolysis. So, it is this. Now, children, as we used to have, KH is equal to CH, K is equal to C alpha square. Here, the same K has been replaced by KH. Same K, which was simple K, then became KA and KB, and now it is KH. Same, 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 very same. So, KH is equal to, as it used to be, K is equal to C alpha square. Here, KH is equal to C H square. There, alpha used to be degree of dissociation. Here, H is your degree of hydrolysis. That was your dissociation constant of acid Ka or dissociation constant of the base Kb or used to be K, uh, your uh, uh, dissociation con I mean, equilibrium constant K of the reaction. Likewise, so this K is simply here KH. On the very same lines, I'm not going to derive the formula because that is not required, children. So KH is equal to simply CH square as KA was equal to C alpha square. KA was dissociation constant of acid. KB was dissociation constant of base. Here KA, KH is uh, hydrolysis constant of the given salt and alpha used to be degree of dissociation or ionization here small h is the degree of hydrolysis so formula is kh is equal to c h square so h is equal to under root kh by c now you see kh is equal to kw upon kb kh is equal to kw upon kb what is kw Ionic product of water, you all know very well, children. Kb, dissociation constant of the base. Kh in this case is equal to Kw upon Kb. This has been derived, children. I am not going for the derivation because it is certainly not required. Direct formulas. So, in this case, where it is going cationic hydrolysis, Kh is equal to Kw upon Kb. Children, mind you, I would like to tell you one thing. You will find that the formula of Kh whenever we have, KW will be there, numerator. In the denominator, you will find the K of that component which is weak, mind you. K of that component which is weak. What is weak here? Weak base. So it is KB. Mind you, if I will have the other example where acid will be weak, it will be, you know what? KA. Point to be noted. KH will be KW upon K of the component which is weak. I repeat. KH hydrolysis constant of the given salt kh hydrolysis constant of the given salt is equal to kw ionic product of, of water upon k of the component which is weak here base is weak so kb dissociation constant of the base if it is the opposite of that means a salt of strong base and weak acid just the reverse of that it would have been Ka. Whichever component is weak in the salt, K of that comes here in the denominator. 
in the formula of kh so you see kh is equal to kw upon kv this is in short to remember and uh, here if you want to go for calculation of h what is h degree of hydrolysis it is uh, under root kh upon c so it is kw upon kv to see like this same formula you have got it normally you don't get children much of numericals based on this formula these formulas but yes you need to know so we have done this then that formula i'm giving you for ph ph is equal to half pkw minus pkv minus log c i repeat ph is equal to half pkw minus pkv minus log c uh, pkv you have seen in the previous video is equal to minus log of kb uh, log c you know very well but pkw what is pkw minus log to the base 10 kw pkw equal to minus log to the base 10 kw i repeat whenever we have children p you have seen it's a minus log of that so pkw equal to minus log to the base 10 kw so uh, hydrolysis i gave you the whole tech i mean the proper words but in short if you dissolve a salt in water and if the resultant solution is either slightly acidic or basic but not exactly neutral the salt is said to undergo hydrolysis here what happens children the cation and the anions are both present in the salt they react with oppositely charged ions uh, present in water right so it is how it is there uh, Salts, following salts undergo hydrolysis. First is salt of strong acid and weak base. Example NH4Cl. You know very well if it dissolve in water, it will give us NH4OH plus SCl. We all know NH4OH is a weak base. SCl is a strong acid. Hence, the acidic character of SCl will be dominating in the resultant solution and the whole solution will be acidic in nature. So resultant solution will be acidic in nature. pH will be less than 7. And we say it undergoes cationic hydrolysis. It is said to undergo cationic hydrolysis because H plus ion concentrations will be dominating. Right? And K H is equal to C H square. As K is to C alpha square, K H is equal to C H square. And H is equal to under root K H by C. On the very same lines as K is equal to C alpha square, alpha is equal to under root K by C. On the very same lines. And then K H W K H is equal to kw upon kv kh is equal to kw upon kv so what is there kw ionic product of water upon kv the k of the weak component and degree of hydrolysis h is equal to under root kw upon kv into c from this formula and the ph please remember is equal to half pkw minus pkv minus log c this formula you need to learn children normally you are not asked numericals based on this but you need to know this formula you might find it somewhere and then what is pkw pkw is equal to minus log base 10 kw so you know very well pkw means minus log to the base 10 of kw and kh is hydrolysis constant and c is nothing but here concentration in moles per liter of the salt so this is all for this video a new term a new concept you need to know important but yes you have to see to it give some time again once in the evening and uh, see all and revise hope it will be clear to you only thing is that you need to remember in short that nh4cl if you dissolve in water will be acidic in nature and why acidic because to this if you add water will give you nh4oh nscl nh4oh is a weak base we all know so naturally acidic nature of sl will be dominating and that's why it is there so acidic pH less than 7 undergoes cationic hydrolysis. This point is often asked in the competitions. This will undergo cationic hydrolysis. H plus ions will be dominating here. Or whichever way you just call it cationic hydrolysis. Means the weak component. Frankly speaking, honestly speaking, it is a weak component NH4OH. Due to which we could have hydrolysis. Mind you, I repeat. Frankly speaking, Honestly speaking, truly speaking, children, why is it called cationic hydrolysis? Because it is the NH4 plus ions responsible for, you know what? Hydrolysis. Had it been a strong one, it would have not gone un undergone hydrolysis. It was NH4 plus ion, which combined with the OH minus ions 
uh, and gave you the weak base NH4OH. Because of that, SCL could show its strong nature. Actually, it is strong. But if other part was also strong, had it been NaCl? Suppose. So, same NaOH and SCL would have been formed. SCL is strong here as well as there. But NaOH is also strong. So, it would have totally nullified the effect of SCL. Hence, there was no scope for hydrolysis. So, I repeat, frankly speaking, I was trying to relate the cationic, why we call it cationic hydrolysis. It is actually the NH4 plus ion, which gives rise to a weak base. It could undergo hydrolysis and hence we call it cationic hydrolysis. Truly, it is this reason that we call it cationic hydrolysis. These are the NH4 plus ions responsible for the hydrolysis of this salt. NH4 plus ion, uh, because of that, when it combined with OH minus ions, gave you NH4OH being a weaker component, the salt could undergo hydrolysis. Had it been KCl, SCl was formed, but it, along with that, we would have KOH or NaOH and they both were strong. So, they both would have nullified. It would have been completely neutralization and pH would have been 7. Hence, there was no scope for hydrolysis. Rather, that would have undergone neutralization. Here, because I have NH4 plus ions, and this is a cation out of this, which is weak, which will give rise to weaker component, the weak base. Hence, we are calling it cationic hydrolysis. This is the truly reason behind calling it cationic hydrolysis. Others, I was giving you logics to just make you remember that way. But frankly speaking, if you learn this, you'll be able to analyze further also. Like suppose here it is the weak component NH4OH. So that's a cation. I call it cationic hydrolysis. Mind you, in the next suppose I have the opposite of that. That like suppose it is a salt of strong base and weak acid. So acid will be the weak component. Acid means anionic part. So I will call that anionic hydrolysis. And likewise the names are there. So please try to remember these terms. Cationic hydrolysis, these formulas. What is this? And what will the pH of the resultant solution? Simple yet important uh, for short questions. Uh, normally, numericals, we avoid asking you this because there are so many logs in between. If they give you directly values, then you can put. But otherwise, uh, numericals are not much asked in this on this portion. So, remaining portion should be there, clear. And if a thought is there, you put the values and get the answer. Right? We will not do numericals in the class here. I gave the formula. If at all you get the direct values, you put it or you take your time. They will give you Kw. What will they give you to Kw? You know the value of Kw. 1 into 10th power minus 14. It's minus log. Then Kb. Then it's minus log Pkb. Then C. Then log C. It's time taking. So that's why normally, I mean the numericals based on this formula are not that much asked. But one can ask you formula itself. That you should know. And if at all, they give you the direct values of these, then what's the problem? Put it and get the answer. So you cannot, I mean, you cannot leave it like this. You have to go for the concepts. Yes, I'm again telling you, we will not be doing numerical based on this. But if everything is given to you, then you can put the value and get the answer. You, you can even be asked the, just the formula. So please prepare yourself everything uh, in a proper way. I mean, you, you do it everything, but yes, Again, I'm telling you, we'll not be doing new metals based on this formula or what I've given you here. That's how it is there. I told you everything very clearly. You work accordingly. Should know what is hydrolysis, pH and all, formulas and all. And hopefully, knowing this, you'll be able to answer all the questions required at your level. Right? So for this video, we stop here.